Prince Rogers Nelson was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, to Maddie Shaw, a jazz singer and social worker, and John L. Nelson, a lyricist and pianist. His father's stage name was Prince Rogers. His parents were both from African American families from Louisiana. They separated during his youth, which led him to move back and forth. Prince had a troubled relationship with his stepfather, which led him to run away from home. Prince was adopted by a family called the Andersons. Prince soon after became friends with the Anderson's son, Andre Anderson, Simone. Together, along with Charles Smith, they joined a band called Grand Central. The band later renamed themselves Champagne and were a fairly successful live band, however, soon diminished. Prince, at the age of 18, started working on high quality demo tracks with Chris Moon. With these demo tracks, Prince eventually ended up signing a recording contract with Warner Brothers Records and was the youngest producer associated with the label. Prince made his debut on the record label with his 1978 album, For You. It wasn't a strong, successful album, however, it was fair for a beginning artist and ranked 163 on the U.S. pop charts. Prince's next releases would tend to do much better on the charts with his singles, Why You Wanna Treat Me So Bad? and I Wanna Be Your Lover in 1979. This would start to introduce Prince as a person who presented sexually explicit material into the music industry. However Prince didn't begin to attract mainstream artists until he released his single, 1999. This single began to be noticed by MTV viewers and this would make him a part of the mainstream music media. Prince released two more singles called Little Red Corvette and Delirious. The album featured Prince's new band, The Revolution. In 1984 Prince would release what would be seen as an admired and profound masterpiece the feature film, soundtrack album, Purple Rain in 1984. Prince's father contributed to this album, by co-writing the chord sequence for a couple of his songs. Prince continued to give co-writing credit to his father on several other albums, as his famous chord sequence would be used in several of Prince's singles and albums. A lot of Prince's songs did not agree with listeners in one of his songs. Darling Nikki prompted a group of people to start a censorship organization called Parents Music Resource Center, PMRC, as the track implemented grinding ludicrous acts such as masturbating, which stunned listeners. Prince however continued to release various other singles with the same platform his memorable releases being Around the World in a Day, Parade, Love Sexy, and Batman. Prince released a sequel to Purple Rain in 1990 called Graffiti Bridge. A soundtrack album accompanied this movie entitled, Graffiti Bridge. The film did terrible in box office and was nominated for several Razzie Awards. Many people saw the soundtrack album, as the high point of the film. In 1991, Prince assembled a new band called, The New Power Generation with this band he would release singles such as Diamond and Pearls, Cream, and Get Off. Prince eventually changed his stage name from Prince to a symbol, which led people to call him, the artist formerly known as Prince. Prince soon took back his old stage name. In the 1990s, Prince continued to release singles such as Came, The Gold Experience, Chaos and Disorder, and Emancipation. With the rise of the new millennium, Prince released material such as a religious album called The Rainbow Children, One Night Alone, The Chocolate Invasion, The Slaughterhouse, and had a collaboration with Stevie Wonder on Stevie's single called, What the Fuss in 2005. Prince died on April 21, 2016 in Chanhassen, Minnesota, at his Paisley Park recording studio complex. He was 57. Prince will be remembered as a musician and artist who inspired millions through his music, and set an inspirational platform which others still abide by.